in Colombia less than 15 days after a parcel bomb was found inside an alternative house of a project involving a peace signatory in Bogota, another building where several ex-combatants sell products has been attacked, violated and robbed. They claim that these are direct attacks on peace. Our correspondent Hernán Tobar with the details. La Roja Cultural House is a project of entrepreneurship of several ex-combatants who bet on peace. It sells various items made from some territories of their cooperation. They claim that there are sectors that want to perpetuate the war in the country since establishments like this and their promoters have been threatened, attacked and assaulted. People forced their war into this property and broke windows and bars, stealing products from the peace sanitary initiatives. They took boots from Cagueta, which are also handmade, as all our products are organic and handmade. They took shoes from the women of Arawak, Wayu, and Arawak handbags, a cash register, a computer, a coffee jar that were taken for a special edition of the fifth anniversary of the peace agreement, and some coffee bags that came from the north of Cauca. They are sure that this is a sign of sabotage to the productive initiatives of social and economic cooperation, which seek to generate anxiety and collective fear. Despite these circumstances, they ratified their commitment to peace. There is an increase in actions against recuperated competence, which we believe has to do with the electoral moment we are living through. We believe that this is obviously linked to generating fear and anxiety, and that obviously those who are carrying out these acts, which is not only this one, but also the alternative, the murder of 297 excombatants, men and women, is framed in the logic of removing us from the political scenario is framed in the logic of returning the country to a fratricidal war. These attacks and violent acts have been systematic against the signatories. Recently, an explosive device was found inside the alternative house, a cultural space where also operates a restaurant, a middle room of various leftist parties in Bogota. Representatives of this combatant claim that this government is ignoring not only the agreements but demanded for potential measures. However, this government turns a deaf ears to the orders of the GIP for the protection of the signatory as well as to the declaration of the constitutional issues exposed by the Constitutional Court. The peace signatory calls on the citizens to continue supporting with solidarity and affection these process and projects to continue on the road to peace and request the competent authorities to find those responsible for these acts against peace in Bogota. Hernán Darío Tobar, Telesur, Bogotá, Colombia.